crushing needs of the community, whether it's mortgage foreclosures, whether it's Maspia feeding the poor, whether it's the Hamodia newspaper that's supporting all of the social services organizations and their tireless work. Today, we unite on behalf of our neighbors in Brooklyn, the Haitian community. As was said before, uh, Councilman Williams is here, the new councilman from the Haitian community of Brooklyn. Councilman Williams doesn't know that my house is exactly two blocks away from his district office. And I pass through this community every morning, every morning going to work, coming home from work. In addition to that, employees of mine, members of the Haitian community, in fact, one of my drivers informed me sadly this morning, was unable to make contact with his mother since Tuesday. And this morning he informed me that his mother, in fact, had lost her life. It's a very sad day. The Jewish community responded and responds today. Uh, the generosity of the community continues. As you see in front of you, uh, donations from this committee have so far brought to bear <coughs> 10 computers to be given over to the community leadership to be able and to enable the members of the community to contact their loved ones and to start to the long process of trying to fix and rebuild. Additionally, the Hamodia newspaper, the weekly, and the daily have come forward to offer the community advertising that will encourage and urge the community to donate to the well-known relief organizations, the Good of Israel of America, immediately upon hearing of the disaster, issued a release to their thousands of members across the country, urging members of the community to donate to the American Red Cross, AmeriCares, American Jewish World Service, Oxfam, and at the moment that this email was created originally, the newly created Clinton Bush Global Fund had not been organized, but since that time, we would again also urge people to donate to any worthy social service worldwide relief organization that is reputable. I think all the elected officials would agree. So on behalf of the community <coughs> leaders here assembled today, from all of the worthy organizations and the elected officials, we thank the elected officials, we thank Doe for organizing and really inspiring constantly to do better and to do well and present the Jewish community in the best light possible. And we thank all of you for coming today. Thank you. Thank you. Next, I'd like to introduce, uh, really, uh, I think we described each other as brothers. Uh, we know each other a very, very long time. And he's actually a son of Haiti. I believe he left Haiti when he was 20. And I am, uh, and we have worked together for many years in both of our communities. So this is not new. This is just a whole different world, uh, unfortunately. Uh, <clears throat> I, I am delighted uh, Councilman uh, Matthew Eugene is with us. And, uh, uh, you know, he is from Haiti. So we all realize, you know, I can talk about Haiti. But when you're from Haiti and you know the streets and you know the, 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 you know the people and you have relatives and friends, uh, 